to you can pick and plug into the equation. The number you get, that's the new point. Okay? I just like little numbers, like one. Okay? If I had picked two, I could plug two in. Four minus nine gives me five. Well, zero you already have. It was part of the part of that. Did you just leave like that or no? All right. Okay. Erase your boards for me. If you try, if you write that down, let's look at the next one. Okay. So this is the last one that I'm gonna do with you, and we're gonna do a few on your own. Yeah. Uh -uh. All right. So this is why we're saying uh-uh right here, is because already somebody has seen this little fraction. Okay. And so now everybody's like, oh no, no fractions. All right. Opposite of B, what's the opposite of negative 4? Positive 4, all right, and 2 times A is negative 1 half, right? All right, come on. Quit spazzing out about, just think, if I have 2 halves, I get a whole, right? So 2 times negative 1 half is just going to be negative 1. And 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. So, yeah, you're right. There was a fraction in there. Yes, everybody saw that fraction in your brain. You're like, oh, well, I'm done. And it turned out to be negative 4. Okay? So stop thinking negatively before you try the problem. All right, vertex. So we know our x value is negative 4. Okay? I'm going to work this out down here just so you can see my work. So it's going to be negative 1 half times Negative 4 squared minus 4 times negative 4 minus 3. Okay, again, yeah. stop thinking that this is so hard. What's negative 4 squared? Uh, 8. Negative 8. Uh, 16. 16. That turns into a positive 16. Okay, so what's the half of 16? And it would be negative 8. Okay, so negative 8 plus 16 gives me positive 8. Right. Positive 8 minus 3 gives me 5. There's your vertex. Right. Alright. Then our max was A positive or negative? Um, positive. Negative, so it's going to be a max at... Five. And then what was our y-intercept? Negative three? Yep. All right, so let's graph. Okay, you can do that. Negative three is going to be right there. Where's my vertex? All right, negative four, positive five. Okay, that's also my axis of symmetry, right? That helps me with figuring out which side my other point needs to go on. Okay, so how far was my y-intercept from my axis of symmetry? Four. So I'm going to go four on the other side, put my twin point, and now here is my graph. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. Why are you not wearing that? Hold on.